I've been on this case for several months now. The mayor himself has got me working day and night on this. Shit. I could have just stayed in the military if I wanted to be cold and tired all the time. Can't say I blame the mayor for his concern. I met some pretty dangerous men in my time with this guy, Harold Archibald. He really gives me the creeps. I got a bad feeling. You know, that thing in your gut that tells you when something bad's about to go down, and I'm already in too deep. Nottingham's most powerful men meeting in the shadows at night. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Harry, I'd appreciate it if you didn't call my home in the middle of the night. What's going on, Harry? What in God's name are we doing here? What's so bloody urgent? What is all this? A new position in office has just opened up. What position? Yours. What was that? Listen in. We have assets on the ground. Call sign Charlie One. You will RV with them 10 clicks southeast from the DZ. To confirm, target's name is Abdul Ali. MI6 have had eyes on him since he left Heathrow and tracked him to his current location. We believe he has information on a high profile target. And we need to bring him in. So try not to brush him up. Hey, hey, Scotland. What's happening? <laughs> oh, you do know it's part of your initiation. You gotta clean our boots when we get back to camp. I mean, you eat your fucking boots. Oh. <laughs> you this tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a walking sandwich shit, man. You're gonna be cleaning these boots for a week, bro. <laughs> FNG. <laughs> fucking new guy. Right. Stop fucking about. I was in Baghdad while you were in your dad's bag. You'll all be cleaning my fucking boots. Time to switch on, fellas. Blur has detected multiple heat signatures in your AO. Intel suggests that the compound is heavily guarded, so it pays to be a winner. Remember, stay low and move fast. Let's do it. Good luck, gents.
my time as Defence Secretary, I have come across countless examples of bravery and courage all over the world from the men and women serving in our special forces. But none continue to astound more than the results and success of this unit alone. This operation led to the capture of one of the world's most prolific and high profile targets and no doubt saved incredible amounts of lives. Although it is your duty to fight and serve in secrecy without public recognition, it is my honour and most humble privilege to be invited here today to present this symbol of gratitude for your courage and great service to your Queen and country. I'd rather take my pain eyes down. Sergeant Jake O'Neill. Good work, Sergeant. Thank you. What's with all the armed guards? Jakey boy. You wouldn't tell me you're trying to bite Dora. Well, he's just getting started. Well, you look nice. Here's a ten, all right? We, we need you to get yourself a wee drink. Right? Us boys, we need to have a chat. I can look after myself. Thanks, Mudge. Fair enough. Fair enough. But, right, there's someone I'm wanting you to meet. Sergeant O'Neill, please, come in. Uh, Corporal Smith, can you give us a minute, please? Shut the door on your way out. Drink. Scotch, brandy. Do you want to tell me what this is all about? Take a seat. Please. That's what I like about men like you, Jake. Straight to the point. No nonsense. You see, it's that. That's what I'm looking for. I've got an offer for you. But I'm only going to offer it once. I need someone to head up a private operation. Someone with some balls who's not afraid to take action. You seem to have earned quite a name for yourself with all your operational success. I have a sideline project that can make you a very rich man and make your life very comfortable indeed. Unless, of course, you enjoy spending your life away getting shot at for next to nothing. You think I do what I do for money? I fight for a purpose. I like the mercenaries you got stood around here. Now, you might be impressing everyone with all of this. But I know exactly the kind of man you are. I wonder what it is you fight for. None of your fucking business. Careful, Jake. There you are. I don't think we've been introduced. Come on. We're going. Jake, you're making a big mistake. Okay. 
The money's in your account. Look, I've got a lot riding on this. Do we have a deal? You fuck me in this. I'll kill your family. Refreshes my soul. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for he is beside me. Lord, please take care of young Jake in this dark hour. We ask you, Lord, to welcome Martha and Scott into your lights and allow them to dwell in the house of the Lord forever and eternity. You've got to take care of Jake. And what the hell do you expect me to do with an eight-year-old boy? Both his parents just got wiped out. We're the only two he's got left. Some of us are still out there fighting real wars. While you're all pissing about playing dress up. You know I can't take him. I'm deep undercover on this Archibald thing. It's what big's going down, I can feel it. Anyway. Got my hands full looking after Jade on my own since... since Mary passed. I'm not caught out to play up your families. The missus gives me enough shit as it is. Oh. Finally, she'll have somebody in the house she can have a mature conversation with. I don't know, mate. It's one big responsibility. Remember Bosnia? How could I forget? One dirty fucking wall. And remember how Neil saved your life. You owe it to him to look after his boy. You know he wouldn't hesitate to do the same for us. Over all the shit us three have been through together. <laughs> a stupid bastard gets wiped out by a truck. I'll do it for Scotty. Well, you could break the news to my missus.
I have to go away. I know. They said it would be far away. I hope I see you again. I made this for you. That way, we'll always remember each other and we'll always be friends. I will see you again. I promise. Where's the bracelet? I took it off. Why? Chief, we need to talk. So you bring me here? Of all places. How is she? She's good. She struggles with me going away a lot. She makes me happy. I'm... I'm pleased for you. Jay. No, I am. I'm... I'm really happy for you. Just as long as she's good to you. You know, just as long as one day... One day we can be together. Like we promised that we would. I'm gonna ask her to marry me. Welcome to the party. <laughs> Fuck me, big lad. You expecting some trouble or what? Where's the case? Man, a few words, eh? No bother. Bring me the case. Think you're gonna love this, pal? Oh, 
what you both sense is your gods. Please. It was Archibald. Come on, man. It was just business. Why are my drugs? We were told to bring you here, kill you and your crew, and we were going to split the cash. Just business. you down as a dirty fighter, Mark. There's no school like the old school, kid. <laughs> Fuck off. It was your folks' anniversary last week. Yeah, I know. I knew your old man a long time, Jake. Thanks, Mac. This is Mac. Go ahead. Roger that. We're on our way. Round up the lads. A state of sheer panic looms over the streets of New Base for this evening, as armed gunmen have taken four hostages captive in a dramatic and harrowing incident. Please, just let my family go. Yeah, they've had nothing to do with this. They're so young, please, just let them go. Mr. Archibald, Ian Hunter, Times News. Has there been indications the motives behind specifically targeting your family? I have no idea where they picked us, no. 
Right now we are using every available resource we have to find a peaceful resolution and to bring the children home safely. Thank you. Police have surrounded the building behind me and negotiations are currently underway. The place has been cornered off. Will the police be able to find a calm resolution? At present, it is very difficult to say. Yesterday at 1600 hours, four hostages were taken at gunpoint from their home in Nottingham. Run the video. What are you doing? The terrorists then executed a further two family members before taking the hostages to this abandoned factory. We believe the factory is being used for the manufacture of PBIEDs and the distribution of narcotics. So be aware of any booby traps or any other little surprises. Now the hostages are the family of the MP Harry Archibald, meaning the whole world's eyes are on us, making us a high profile target. So no fuck up gents, let's do this one by the book. I can't fucking believe that. There's fucking well in there. Them two slags were fucking well up for us. <laughs> I was about to smash fucking both of them, and man, I had to take them fucking Give both straight Give a fucking rest, we smudge. You're fucking boring me. What the fuck has crawled up your ass? You need to chill the fuck out, mate. Maybe get yourself fucking laid or something. Just give me a fucking reason. Jake, that's enough. That's enough. You people like guns. Don't you? Bang. <laughs> I don't like using guns. I like a knife. And see the reflection. See the pretty light. The cold steel. To got you like a little fish. But you can't do anything about it. <laughs> and then what we're trying to do. I'm looking for the person in charge. You're looking at it. Right. Well, man, I've cleared the area. I have some information that may be of use to you. Go on. You've identified one of the terrorists as Abdul Ali. Abdul Ali? We put him away years back. Sir, I have something for you. Don't call me Sir Darling. I work for me. Intelligence report from SRR and MI6. Apparently, they've been tracking their movements over the last two years. They discovered a network of drug smuggling, human trafficking, across the UK borders to the mainland. The French cut a deal in 2010 to have Abdul released, in exchange for one of their journalists who was captured by Ghazi. We've had surveillance on them ever since. We have the electronic log from Dalmar's phone and the PDA. And what do we get? Not a lot. But we do know who he's been in communication with. Harry Archibald. Archibald? Well, we believe the kidnapping had something to do with the deal that went south between Delmar and Archibald. These were taken by reconnaissance operatives in Dover.
Let's get Archibald in for questioning. Let's see what he knows. The media's gonna have a field day with this. I don't give a fuck about the media. Get him in. Whoever we find inside, I want them covered or killed. Roger that. Okay, gents. Eight hours at zero six thirty. Snipers are in position. No one moves before my go. I've got eyes on, lads. Ready when you are. Bravo one. You are clear to engage. Good luck, gents. Daddy hasn't paid up. Time has run out for you. Don't take her! Don't take her! No! 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 Bravo one, this is zero. What the fuck is going on in there? Delta one zero. This is Bravo one. Can you get eyes on? What's going on? Way out. Fuck this. Smudge, no.
Trick, rope up. Just a flesh with your pussy. Mac, we need a medic in here now. Yeah, tell him to hang tight. As soon as it's clear, I'll send them in and get him patched up. Take this. We need to go oh, after the hostages. Up, then. Watch your six. In there. Smudge, this is your time to shine. to the boy. Where are the others? They took him. Trick, get in here. You all right? Yeah. It's okay. You're safe now, yeah? Come on. Let's get you out of here. Mac, get medics on standby. Roger that. The MT heading to the exfil point. Easy now. Easy. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Hostages are secure. Jake's on his own, Mac. Permission to go back in. Bravo one. Send sit rep. Over. Make sure you get home. Let the kid go! Listen to me! Drop the weapon! 
Asher has been taken away. There is no way out for you. Let him go. Maybe I will shoot him. Alfie, look at me. I promise you, mate, you're not going to get hurt, okay? Throw the gun down. Throw the gun down. I promise I'm going to get you out of here, okay? It's all for Jay! No! Please! Come in. My discharge papers. This is the job. Sometimes things go south. We can't win them all. Look. The reports show that it wasn't your fault. You did everything you could to save that little boy. So take some time out and get your head together. I watched some nine-year-old boy get his fucking brains blown out by someone that we put away years back. That's above our pay grade. <laughs> you know the game. When are you going to wake up, Mac? I mean, I know most politicians are lying fucking snakes. But Harry Archibald, I mean, he takes the fucking prize. Doing deals with drug dealers and terrorists. And we know that two of his children were shot dead because of some fucked up operation that he was running. Yet he's walking around free. You tell me why. Me and your dad had to get our hands dirty from time to time for the sake of Queen and country. But we never questioned it. That's how wars are won, kid. The day your parents died, I vowed to always take care of you. I've looked after you like you are my own son. I've trained you to be the best you can be. Your dad was the toughest son of a bitch and the best soldier that I ever knew. He'd be fucking ashamed of you right now. Yeah. Well, he's not fucking here now, is he? And I'm out. I expected more from you, Jake. Sergeant Jake O'Neill, you're dismissed. Hey. Give me another one. Again. You need to pay your tab, mate. 
I've been sat there all fucking day. Fucking prick. Fuck it. All right, baby. Let's get lucky tonight. No more bets, please. Thirteen black. I can't believe it. Fuck it, all in. This is insane. Final bets, please. Give me. Five red. <sighs> the odds seem not to be in your favor, mate. Sorry. Bets, please. What can I get you? A cosmopolitan, please. Having a rough night, are we? Yeah, you could say that. Do you want to get out of here? Oh, Jack, what are you doing? What? Get off, not here. It's all fun. Come on, girl. <laughs> no, get off, Jack. I said no. 
Hello. I'm Ralph. I'm the manager. Hello. Nice to meet Hi. you. Do you want to come this way? Yeah, for sure. Jade, if you're hearing this, then I am already dead. I have left this tape in a safety deposit box that you will only be able to access when you're old enough to understand. Be careful with what you do with it and who you trust. Archibald is a very dangerous man with eyes everywhere and he will stop at nothing. I'm sorry I can't be there for you now, but no, I will always love you, no matter what, my sweet girl. Jade, wake up. It's okay. Jade? What happened to you? What are you doing here? Who the fuck do you think you are? 
Leave me alone. Please, Jake. I need your help. Look at me. What can I help with? You're the only one that I can turn to. What else do I have to give? What do you expect from me? I don't care about any of this. I don't care about you. Leave me alone. You said you would always be there for me. I'm sorry. What is it? It's about my dad, Jake. I told you he was murdered. And now I have proof. We were on the run, living in the middle of nowhere. Dad knew we were in too deep. The night he was murdered is something that will always haunt me. What's wrong? What's going on? We need to take this key and hide it. Whatever happens, you do not let anybody know you've got it. Okay? Dad, you're scaring me. Jade, hey, listen to me. Promise me. I promise. I need you to get under the bed and not make a sound. Can you do that for me? <laughs> I love you too. Get under the bed now. Go, go, go. Quick. They broke into our house looking for the tape. Nothing would have stopped them until they got what they came for. No one believed me, no matter who I turned to. Not the police, not the social workers, not even you. What's going on, Harry? What in God's name are we doing here? Not so bloody urgent. What is all this? The new position office has just opened up. What position? Yours.
Jade, what's wrong? What is it? Jake, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think we should go through with it. What if something happens to you? I'll never forgive myself. Jake, listen. No, you listen to me, Jake. You're all I've got left. I can't lose you as well. I can't be on my own again. Nothing is going to happen to us. I said that I'd protect you. I'm not going anywhere. You don't understand what this man's capable of. Jake, I told you, remember? He shot and he killed my father right in front of me. And no one believed me. No one helped me. It's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Not now we have proof. There's no hiding from that. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you before. So what are you planning to do? You know he's got the police in his pocket. They're not going to touch him. That's why we're not going to the police. And so what? You're just going to go up there and ask him to hand himself in? That's exactly what I'm going to do. We've got enough evidence to put him away for a lifetime. And I'm going to give him the chance to finally do the right thing. Otherwise, we'll just go to the media. We can't let him get away with what he did to your father. And what if you get hurt? Jake, please, please, let's just leave this now. Let's go away. Let's leave here. And He's too dangerous. He doesn't know the meaning of the word. But if he tries to fuck with us, then he will. I told you I'll take care of you. So, what do you think? Is there really something you want to get any? Look, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye. But I need your help on this. Help? Help with what? What do you mean? I'm going to bring him down. All right, big man. What's your plan? I need to get inside that building. You're the only one close enough to get me in. I think you are fucking crazy. Do you realize what you're walking into? You'll not get past the front door. Come on. Can you help me with this or not? I'll see what I can do. Good man. I know I could count on you. Got a problem. Mac. I just wanted to apologize for what happened before. I'm sorry. I've known you your whole life. You never have to say sorry to me. 
What's going on? It's Jade. She's in trouble. Well, what's happened? Her dad left her a surveillance tape that proves that Archibald shot the mayor of Nottingham. So what's your plan? You can't go to the authorities. We all know how that story will end. That's why I need your help. What do you need? Guns. You really sure about this? Carl was your best friend. And I can't let anything happen to her. Does that thing still work? Could do with a bit of grease. Why? Wait for on taking it. Straight through the front door. Do I have your attention? I swear to God, if you fucking touch her. I think it's time we met. I'm coming for you. He's on his way. Get the men ready. position now. There's a lot of people down there, kid. South side's all clear. Keep an eye out. Stay alert. Hi, official. Wait for my go. As soon as you're in the building, you're on your own.
Let's move out! Jake! Jake, can you hear me? Over. He's on his way. Down. 
problem is. You're all for this queen and country shite. Look at you now. You're a fucking mess. Face it, Jake. I'm better than you. I always have been. It's about time you found out how weak you really are! Looks like you failed. Again. You lose, pretty boy. You're fucking pathetic, you know. Fucking disgrace. You seem you're so smart with a fucking hole in your head. You know, you've always been a little fucking rat. What about if I make that wee girlfriend of yours my bitch as well, eh? Rather fitting, don't you think? Thank you for finally joining us. Although I must say you're a little worse for wear. Let her go. I've got the tape. You don't need her anymore. Ah, oh, Jake. We could have been so good together if you just had some sense of ambition. You two just couldn't help yourselves, could you? Jake! You've got what you need. Just take it and let her go. Come on, just take the fucking tape! You've made your point! Put the gun down.
You think your being here happened by mistake? I could have had you killed any time I wanted. Everything you touch, and everyone you care about, are now gone. And Jade, my little Jade, how beautiful you've become. It's rather ironic. You should meet the same fate as your father. For sticking your nose into my business. Do you really think you're going to get away with this? The police are on their way. I know, because I called them. I can see tomorrow's headlines. Special Forces operative kills everyone in the building, shoots his beloved girlfriend before turning the gun on himself. Just like you told my little boy. That's okay. It's okay. Jade, it's not your fault.
Mac. You don't do things in arms, do you, kid? Nothing a lick of paint won't fix. Who the hell is responsible for this? Do you know what you've done? How much is it likely to cost? Do you have any regard for public safety? For God's sake, you've just blown up the most iconic building in the city. Let alone my reputation and the government's public image. You special forces are all the same. You all think you're above the law. The hell do you think you are? Bloody Bruce Willis. <laughs> you might want to take a look at this. This isn't the last you've heard of me. That's one right up you go there, sweetheart. You make sure you look after him for me. I will do, don't worry. And you, don't let her go again. Cheers, Mac. So, does this mean it's finally over? Or maybe just one last thing. 